A interesting topic in science and technology magnetars. When the star have a solar mass of 10 to 25 times, in that case, they shrink into neutron star. Not all neutron stars, but a few neutron stars change to magnetar. And what are those? Those are based on intense magnetic field. So only those neutrons, uh, neutron stars which have intense magnetic field are seen as magnetars. Now what is so interesting about magnetars? Magnetars are silent for most of their life except for the violent flares. Now these violent flares exist only for milliseconds and even in those milliseconds they have a capability to generate intense amount of energy. So for example in one tenth second a magnetar releases energy which is nearly the energy provided by the sun in 1 lakh years. So you can understand the extent of energy which is released by magnetars. Now what is so unique about magnetars? Magnetars have as we said an intense magnetic field around 10 raised to power 15 gauss and a luminosity which is around 10 raised to power 36 to 10 raised to power 40 joules. In contrast to our sun's luminosity which is 10 raised to power 26 joules, nearly 10 raised to power 11 joules higher than the sun's uh, luminosity. Understanding the magnetar, we have identified so far only 30 magnetars. Of these magnetars, we have seen that they are extremely distant, nearly 13 million light years away and these distant Magnetars are seen in the NGC 253, uh, in the direction of NGC 253 and they are found in the Sculptor group of galaxies. So in the Sculptor group of galaxies they are found and so far in the Milky Way only 30 magnetars have been identified. Now how does magnetic uh, eruptions take place? So, in the outermost layer of these magnetars, which is called as the magnetosphere, the one kilometer thick outermost layer, which is known as the magnetosphere, and in this magnetosphere, or also what is known as the star quakes, there are disturbances or the instability in the magnetic structure and that is due to the interaction of the waves and this leads to immense dissipation of energy which is responsible for these violent flares to occur. So a very important topic in science and technology. We will be covering many such interesting topics. Stay tuned for more updates. Wish you a very good luck for your oncoming exams. Thank you.